Hello and welcome to Much of Our Industry presents Digital Dialogue on Powering Precision, Unveiling the Secrets of Plasma Cutting Machines and Power Sources, sponsored by Mesar Cutting Systems India. Plasma cutting is a versatile and efficient method of cutting various types of metals and materials using a high temperature ionized gas known as plasma. To share more details on the applications of plasma cutting and its advantages, let me invite Mr. Ravichandran Duraiswamy, Assistant General Manager for Product Management at Mesar Cutting Systems India. The double cutting is on cutting of plates, thin sheets or thick plates, even up to 300 mm, using oxyfill, plasma and laser technology. Oxyfill, you can go up to 300 mm or in some cases up to 600 mm also. Uh, wherein, but your cutting capability is like very slow and uh, if you want to make a hole, it will be at least uh, the thickness to hole ratio will be 1 is to 2. So if you are cutting a 20 mm plate with a minimum hole, you can have it with a 40 mm hole. Whereas in plasma, it's 1 is to 1 you can achieve and uh, you can go up to 160. I'm, I'm talking of the maximum cut you can have. But with laser, you can hardly go more than 30 or 40 mm on stainless steel. So, if you want to have a uh, good cutting on uh, material up to 50, 60 mm, plasma is the best solution which is available right now. If we want to talk about the advantages of plasma over oxyfuel, uh, plasma gives a better cut quality, though it gives a bit tougher on the cutting edges, but it has more flexibility on usage of material, wherein you can, we can cut uh, stainless steel, you can cut um, aluminium, you can cut uh, mild steel also, but with oxyfuel, you can cut only uh, mild steel. And it gives higher productivity because the speed of cutting is at least sometimes 10 times more faster than oxyfuel. So, as it is faster, it's, uh, the cutting cost per uh, meter or per length of uh, material is lower in case of plasma, considering uh, oxyfuel. When you compare it with laser, um, plasma has got a higher cutting speed, so the productivity is higher when you compare uh, plasma against laser. And also the uh, capital investment on the equipment is lower and the maintenance cost is much, much lower. So we have always learned about three states of material. That's one is gas, liquid and solid. But plasma is the fourth state of material wherein the gas is uh, uh, ionized and uh, it is used to cut the material. There are some pros and cons. So it has, what you can say is it cannot be used underwater. Uh, and in some cases, we say can say laser gives a even more higher quality because of the very low uh, curve width. But in general, if you want to get cut a medium or higher thickness plate, it's better to use uh, plasma. And these are the three types of plasma stressing, like with the PMX from the uh, Hypertherm and Oxygen Plasma Max Pro and High Definition Plasma, we have got the XPR uh, 173 and right. So these are the plasma types. Uh, the rigidity of gantry, the speed of the machine, the acceleration of the uh, drive or the machine and the stability with which the uh, uh, structure performed. Everything influences the cutting process. And even the height, uh, what is the height control system, the accuracy or the response of the height system also uh, impacts a lot on the uh, plasma cutting quality. So, all the speed of cutting, the acceleration with which the uh, equipment moves and the torch height and the response of the motors and drives all plays an important role on the quality of cutting or the uh, output of the cut material. Thank you so much Mr. Ravi Chandran for sharing details on the applications of plasma cutting and its advantages. Plasma cutting power sources are the devices that provide the necessary energy to create and sustain the plasma arc used for cutting metals and other conductive materials. These power sources play a crucial role in the efficiency, quality and performance of plasma cutting operations. Our next speaker, Mr. Balamurili Sridevasan, OEM Sales Manager for Indian Market at Hypertherm Associates, will help you to understand the various types of plasma cutting power sources. 
So just uh, we'll go on the evolution of plasma side. So in 1941, the TIG welding was more predominantly used for welding of parts. And with some tweaking, they started to use for cutting of thin sheets. And that's where the uh, non-conventional method of cutting started. And the major break to happen in 1957 when Union Carbide, the Ling Day uh, division, of, uh, created a plasma process that would cut the heavy metals. And during that time, different gases were being used uh, for cutting. Uh, this method was predominantly used until 1970s. In 1963, another step forward where oxygen is used for cutting instead of N2, uh, instead of nitrogen, that is, where the speed increased by 25%. And in 1968, the hypothermia is formed. In 1980s, air plasma started uh, had a huge market where the, uh, the plasma markets increased by 50, 50 plus times, I would say. And from mid-80s, hypotherm being market leader in plasma, we, as we mentioned, we have more than 200 patents to our name. We invented and reintroduced a lot of patents in plasma industries to primarily have the customer pain points, addressing especially the cost of cutting, speed in which it can be cut. Thank you Mr. Bada for explaining on the evolution of plasma cutting power sources. Mesa cutting systems is a key partner of Hypotherm Associates. How does this power up to benefits your customers and in turn the manufacturing industry as a whole? A partnership of uh, Mesa with Hypotherm. This is a long, long, long like partnership wherein uh, the developments happen hand to hand. Mesa and Hypertherm is a long story and uh, we are still also, even now we are exploring ways and methods how to uh, optimize the plasma process uh, to give the best to the customers. Mr. Bala, how do you look at this association? Uh, so, uh, the collaboration between Hypertherm and Mesa brings together the cutting edge expertise and technology in field of uh, industrial cutting solutions, right? So this partnership, I feel, will benefit customer in terms of bringing more innovative solutions and also greater access to the advanced cutting technologies, which we are talking uh, IODs, uh, the cutting technologies, right? Which are predominantly focusing on eliminating the pain areas of the customers. So we, we are in the journey, eliminating all the pain points of the customer to enhance their productivity, to ensure that uh, their uh, they'd have less bottlenecks, I would say. So before summing it up, uh, Mr. Bala, can you share your concluding remarks on the emerging trends that will drive growth for plasma cutting in the years to come? Looking at the challenges around like what Mr. Rajendran also said from laser, from other, other technologies, I, I, I am, we are optimistic that plasma cutting is poised for substantial growth uh, by looking at the emerging trends like the the economy, Indian economy is growing, growing. Uh, there are lots and lots of construction happening. That means a lot of metals has to be cut, right? So that means a lot of machine also still needed in the field. So in that way, we are very confident. And also people are looking for more automated products. Uh, they are moving from the manual operation uh, to the mechanized. So when people start to adapt more and more, look for more and more of, uh, automation side of things, I think we will be able to help them or maybe play a pivotal role in shaping the industrial or automation, I would say. Uh, Mr. Ravi Chandran, your concluding remarks, please. Yeah, we have a challenging market for plasma. Like we say, uh, laser is also fast uh, developing. And likewise, uh, uh, plasma technology is also fine-tuned. And uh, that's how, uh, from Hypertherm, we have got the XPR 170 and 3 and the uh, which is much better than the HPR series, what they had earlier. So, cutting uh, the uh, industry or the market is much, much, much demanding with a lot of competition from um, laser. So, we we as a whole, like, uh, we also uh, have the developments uh, uh, done in plasma in terms of uh, creating more value addition like uh, NS bevel cutting uh, and then uh, what you can say is pipe cutting all those uh, types of uh, technologies we 
put in our machines to give the best to the customers. Thank you all for joining today's episode of Moja for Industry Presents Digital Dialogue on Powering Precision, Unveiling the Secrets of Plasma Cutting Machines and Power Sources, sponsored by Mr. Cutting Systems India. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.